All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Chodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again uh, with another lesson. And this one's here from a video uh, from my man, High Roots. And um, he uh, entitled it, Breaking Flying Microchips the Size of the Sand Grain. All right? Flying Microchips the Size of a Sand Grain. And um, I was just going to play the video, man. All right? These flying microchips, bro. You ever say you message about these flying microchips? Uh, the size of a grain of sand, all right? So apparently, there's a new development that they're going to release millions and millions of these sand flying microchips to surveillance the population, bro. It's, it's weird. I mean, this is a straight up Twilight Zone shit, bro. Once again, I mean, they're basically doing airborne uh, flying microchips, bro, to spread throughout the world, bro. I mean, it's just weird. Hold on, let me read this real quick. All right, flying microchips the size of a sand grain could be used for population surveillance. Damn, what? This is the, the tip of a pencil, bro. Look how little that shit is. A 3D micro flyer next to a pencil tip for scale. It's neither a bird nor a plane, but a winged microchip as small as a grain of sand that can be carried by the wind. It monitors such things as pollution levels or the spread of airborne diseases. How? The tiny microflyers who, whose development by engineers at Northwestern University was detailed in the article published by Nature this week are being built as the smallest ever human-made flying structures. Uh, we're gonna, they're called tiny flyers that can gather information about their surroundings. Yeah, and, and basically just more for tracking and control, you know? They say it's for that, but Esau never just use it for what they say it's for, you know, if it gives them uh, better leverage, you know, or more eyesight is going to feed them the information that they require. All right. And even if they have to break the rules, they break the rules. But, you know, just the thought and the, the mind, the creative, you know, ability of what they can do, you know, a freaking flying microchip, you know, just watching you, you know, is, is Esau's madness, man. And that's why this place is on its way out, man. This place is finished, all right? You know, let, let alone, you know, they want it inside the body, but not just inside the body, but civilian, but civilians as well, you know? This is madness, man. Esau is on another level. What are you breathing this this stuff, bro? What's going on? All right, let's, let's see this video real quick. Hopefully it doesn't get uh, copyrighted. Seems to have sophisticated arrow and that has the effect of increasing the dispersal distance from the tree and that's the name of the game is spreading the seeds as far as possible and it shows you Esau you know what he does is he watches nature and he replicates it you know he makes his own technology to do what nature can do and it gives him ideas just shows you that you know, this world is governed in the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Everything that's being done is done by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Which is the true and living power. Because it was the Most High. All right. Through Yahweh Shai to create all these things, man. Okay. The first flying microchip. Microflyer is the smallest ever human made flying structure. The goal of this project has been to add capability for winged flight to electronic circuit chips, uh, with the idea that those capabilities would allow us to distribute highly functional but miniaturized electronic devices Damn. that could sense the environment. Hold on. Sorry, guys. This is not just one, guys. This is like five of them. This is not just one. This is one, two, three, four, five. They're tiny, bro. They're literally grain of sand. What the fuck? 
environment for disease tracking, population surveillance, maybe monitoring of environmental contamination, uh, and so on. Uh, Rwanda. With miniaturized electronic devices that could sense the environment for disease tracking, population surveillance, maybe monitoring of environmental contamination, uh, and so on. Information so we've created consists of two parts. One is an electronic functional component uh, that has a overall size scale in the range of one millimeter. So almost like a tiny grain of sand. Uh, but we've integrated with that electronic chip wing structures that um, form almost what looks like a helicopter. And so as these structures fall through the air, in interaction between the air and those wings cause a rotational motion that creates a very stable, slow falling velocity that allows these structures to interact for extended periods with ambient wind that uh, really enhances the dispersal process much like seeds do in the biological world. We think we've beaten biology uh, in a sense. You think you've beaten biology? Okay. Very All right, I'll leave a link to the video. You know, I, this is my first time seeing that, the whole video, well, that part through. But uh, just shows you the pride of E, man. All right. He think he beat biology. All right. You ain't beat biology. You ain't beat nothing. Uh, so, like, you bear with me. I got to turn my screen on. My screen is black. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. And that's Esau Edom, all right? He is a proud man. All right, he transgresses by wine, by his philosophies. You know, they have a science philosophy, which is not, you know, backed by the Bible. It's basically against the Bible. It's to prove that, you know, his science is before the Bible, and it's not. It says, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. All right, because everything that, you know, he wants and he, he desires is, is uh, cruelty. You know, it's, it's slavery for the other nation. So he it says, who enlargeth his desire as hell. And I look what, you know, his desire is. You know, he called himself beaten. Um, be out, uh, he, they have be biology beat. You know, you have actual flying microchips the size of a grain. Okay. You know, we just saw it do the spinning and turning around. You know, ain't no telling how powerful or what they what they really capable of doing. You know, just that small. You know, those things is that small to even that that thing is even that small to even fit inside your body, man. All right. So anyway, it says and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto himself, gather unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. All right. Because he's never satisfied. That's why when it comes to this uh, juice, you know, uh, it's not going to stop there. Okay. You, he's, he's already proven that now you got to take multiple uh, shots, you know. So, you know, shots, you know. <laughs>
and um and it don't stop there you know it don't stop there okay because eventually it's going to move on to the karagma so it says um but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people because his goal is to uh you know govern the world as if he's the most high all right he wants to number the people all right he wants to sit inside the people's body he's want to he want to he want to uh, uh, control their emotions, their thoughts. He want to know their thoughts. He want to control their thoughts. It says, "Shall not all these things take up a proverb against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that in, that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that laddeth himself with thick clay? All right, because this earth is not yours. Okay, Esau is going around this world, doing as he please. You know." And basically thinking he can do whatever he want, but that's why Yahweh Shai, all right, is gonna is gonna put a, a, a end, you know, to all of your desires, all right. Yahweh Shai is the end, okay. He's the beginning, but he's the end of you you Edomites, and he's the beginning of Jacob. So it says, shall shall not, uh, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations All the remnant of the people Shall spoil thee because of men's blood And for the violence of the land Of the city And of all that dwell therein Alright uh, Verse 9 Woe to him that covereth an evil covetousness To his house That he may set his nest on high That he may be delivered From the power of evil Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul for in the stone for the stone shall cry out of the wall and the beam out of the timber shall answer it woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity and that's all Esau man all right he take over these lands he um kill uh casualties which is people who have nothing to do with the war you know, like children, all right, uh, men and women, all right, and he takes over their land and resources, and he do it by blood. You know, the scriptures say uh, the land cannot be cleansed, but but cleansed by by the one that shed it. Roughly paraphrasing. See, the Lord is all about justice, all right, which is righteous justice. You know, paying you back for the things that you have done. That's why the scriptures say in Psalms 10, let them be taken into the vices that they have imagined. It says, woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Behold, is it not of Yahweh of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall weary themselves for the very, for, for very, very vanity? For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. It says, woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, but putteth the, thou bottle to him and maketh him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness you know that reminds me of the scripture uh where the lord said he hath waited for me to destroy me you know it says woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink and put of thou bottle to him and maketh him drunken uh drunken also that thou mayest look on his nakedness you know so you know when you when you uh participate you know with the mind control and you're committed iniquity, you become naked, man. All right, your shame is gonna come up just as well as theirs. All right, because you drunken up the philosophy and the false ways. All right, it says, "Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thou foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, for shameful splewing shall be on thy glory." For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee and the spoil you of the beasts, which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. It says, what profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof have, have graven it, the molten image and the teacher of lies, that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols you know so that's basically the point you know just uh quick scripture i thought of from watching this video here
progressive there? We think we've beaten biology, uh, in a sense. How would you beat biology, bro? Fuck. It says some of the microflyers are built with a material developed in Rogers' lab that will allow them to naturally de degrade and disappear in groundwater over time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, they're basically mapping the world with microchips, bro. Basically. Yeah, and, and it's game changer, man. All right, when it enters the body, all right, these, this technology, all right, is, uh, you know, game changer. You know, so that's why it's important to understand the power of this technology that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has given him, you know? And that's the Lord basically just, you know, filling him up with more pride, you know, so that the Lord can show his power. All right, so let's see what else he got. That's what I'm getting from this shit. They're making a digital world, in my opinion. That's the truth. It's not really an opinion, it's a fact. You know, there's an article from yesterday that UK is uh, in a race against China and the US to be the uh, official forerunner or one of the forerunners of being a powerful country when it deals with artificial intelligence. So. Yeah, this is a digital society. It's a fact. So, uh, Lord willing, I hope this lesson will be edifying. You know, I just wanted to cover this video. I've seen it titled Microchip. You know, we big on it. You know, we see microchips. Hey, those small microchips are powerful, you know. All right. You know, and that's why it's uh, good to research and get into those topics and, and, and learn what they do. You know, the scriptures, the scriptures say we're not um, uh, ignorant to Satan devices. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakash Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.